Trick or treating has started and some houses making sure everyone can celebrate. That includes kids with food allergies. 13 News Now reporter Ernie LeBeau is live for us in Virginia Beach. And Ernie, they're telling parents to keep their eyes out for one thing. Yeah, that's right, David. They're telling parents to look out for these teal pumpkins. This basically lets you know that that home is offering something in addition to candy for kids who have food allergies. And this is basically to include them in the festivities because as we know, Halloween is all about costumes, pumpkin carving, and of course, trick or treating. If you look out here, you can see the kids on the street are getting ready to do just that. Everyone wants to participate you know, in Halloween trick or treat. It's what many kids will be saying tonight as they go door to door getting candy. But for kids like Kristen Osborne's sons, candy isn't an option. All three of my sons have multiple life threatening food allergies. We avoid food from wheat, dairy, egg, peanut, tree nut, shellfish. And Kristen has these teal pumpkins outside her home. And they let trick or treaters know that her home has things like toys, stickers and bouncy balls for kids who can't have candy. It's called the Teal Pumpkin Project. It's a way to let kids with food allergies trick or treat safely. Being able to offer something that's safe and it's not not a uh, food for our children with food allergies is just life changing. And she says this time of year, those in the allergy community often hear about a child eating something they shouldn't have. Knowing that others pass away because of a life threatening allergy, whether they were aware of it or not, is just devastating to the community. And with more people putting these pumpkins outside their homes, she hopes this will become another Halloween tradition to keep kids safe. And this tradition actually only started a couple of years ago, back in 2014. But Kristen is hoping that more people get on board with putting these pumpkins out because this is all about making sure all kids have a happy Halloween. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Erin <laughs> LeBeau, 13 News Now.